Hi everyone, I'm Jim, also known as Aku, and welcome to the best anime series of 2023 so far, part 1. To quote Stained, it's been a while since I showed you some of my anime recommendations. Today we're having a lot of shows, a historic number of 24 animes. I feel like this season was the best in years. As usual, before we start, let me mention how this video series works. Every season I choose several animes that are okay, most of these shows are flawed, but they still have something good in them and I just want to talk about them. Same as in the previous videos, I need to apologize to you that I usually don't remember the characters' names, that's because I always watch lots of movies, TV shows and animes, usually more than thousand a year. The story, the atmosphere, the art, how the characters looked, that's what I remember. How they are called, not so much. Let's begin. Eternal Boys is a show about a bunch of old men who decide to become pop idols. It's a truly interesting take on those pop shows when it comes to anime. Usually they are garbage, but this one was actually very interesting to see the hardships of these characters and how they can be perceived by the society. Japan as a country has an obsession on youth and being young. I guess that's why most of the anime characters look like they are 10. Or maybe half of the people in Japan are like priests from the Catholic Church. Pedophiles. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But Eternal Boys is a great show, I highly recommend it. High Card is a fantasy action show about a secret group who collects these cards that give special powers to other people. And of course there's a evil fraction who also wants these cards for themselves and they fight against each other. But we also actually have some interesting characters in this show. They have their own motivations for using the cards, no matter if it's for good or evil. I would love to see this show being continued, to see them explore more serious subjects. Of course this season they've showed us some serious stuff already, but yeah, I truly enjoyed this one. I feel like not every character had time to shine yet, so yeah, give us season 2. Cool Doji Danshi. Now this is a show from that slice of life genre. It's basically about a bunch of guys and their adventures and how they build relationships with each other. One dude is a high school student, the other works at a corporation, the other is an artist, so on and so on. They are actually very interesting and this is one of those shows that you just watch to relax cause there isn't any main story here, it's just a bunch of guys and their quirky behavior. Good stuff. The Ice Blade Sorcerer Another anime where the main character is overpowered. This one is actually interesting. Basically we have a school of magic and a dude goes there. And the show is basically about him making friends and fighting against evil sorcerers who want to use magic for bad things. Who would have guessed? I like the main character and <laughs> all those scenes about being bulky. The gym culture is a joke to me. Like, I am happy that you're taking good care of yourself, but it's just so funny when you see those bulky guys like, yeah, look at my muscles. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? But I love this show. It's not the best thing. As usual, I'm not too fond of the female characters because they're just here to have a secret crush on the main character. Like, you could cut them out of the story and I wouldn't cry. Maiemashita Yuma-kun Season 3 Now I've already talked about this show in one of my previous anime videos. It's basically Harry Potter but it's a demon school and our main character is a human and he pretends to be demon because he's the adopted son of the principal. This show has great set of characters, I love the art, the music, just everything. But I must say that this season kinda disappointed me, the previous ones were way better. This one is still interesting, but I feel like the story didn't move forward that much. I highly recommend watching this show, if you like magic or just wholesome shit. I am already tired of reading shitty fucking titles, but here we go! 
saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. Have you noticed that animes recently have titles like fucking metalcore songs from 2008? This show is about a girl called Mitsuha and of course she can teleport to another world and of course she opens a shop there selling stuff from our world to get money for retirement as you can guess from the title. This show was actually nice, the main character isn't so likable, but at least she has good morals and I've enjoyed the ending, they could even make another season, I would watch that. It's nothing special, but it's fun to watch. Monono Gatai. Now I won't even hide my disappointment because I thought this show would be a spin-off of that Bakemonogatai and some other Gatari, you know, that big franchise of animes about ghosts and weird things happening. If you scroll down, it's not connected to any of that shit, so I think this is a standalone thing. It's a show about a dude who lost his siblings because of ghosts and now he's basically killing them. And this woman that you can see beside him, she's like the beacon to all of those ghosts, they see her. But I enjoy the story and the characters, I hope the main dude can avenge his family. But of course, we will need a second season for that. And probably a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one. Let's have 500 episodes because we have no fucking lives. Of course, I'm sarcastic. I want this to be finished in two or three seasons. I want to see the end. Buddy Daddies, now I've heard that this show is a ripoff of Spy X Family. I didn't even notice that, I think that's a lie. This show is much more different from that. We've got two assassins and they kill a father of a young girl and they take her under their wings. But they don't want her to become assassin, they just want to be parents. And this is like half wholesome when they have typical parent-child relationship and half of the show is basically about killing some bad guys. I've enjoyed this show a lot, I think it could have been better, but it tackled upon some serious issues like her mother, which oh my god, typical mother from Poland. I've enjoyed the wholesome stuff, this story was okay, this show doesn't need another season, it's finished and I've truly enjoyed it, especially the ending. Isekai non Biri Noka, now this is one of those shows that is a part of the genres I don't like, so harem and some edgy things. I hate that shit, it's garbage to me, but I do enjoy watching people farm. For some reason it calms me down, like now I'm watching Clarkson's farm, you know Jeremy Clarkson, Top Gear. The ground tour, there's a second season out, I've been watching that when I need a break from the work, editing videos, writing shit, recording shit, I just need some break so I watch people do farming stuff. And I guess that's why I enjoyed this show. Again, a dude dies, he's transported into a different world, and God is basically sad that the main character died because he wasn't supposed to I think. He sends him to an evil forest with very strong monsters, but our main character is like, yeah, it's okay, he has a good life there. Basically, he builds a village from ground up, and he has some friends, and they do farming. This could even get a second season because half of it was very wholesome and peaceful. As usual, the things I don't like about this stuff is the fact that most of the characters are women and they have a secret crush on the main character and he's completely oblivious to that fact because he's a good straight guy. And this is tiring to be honest, I'm just tired of that cliche, I don't know would their fucking brains explode if the village had also more male characters? It's bullshit, but I guess that's what sad people like to watch. By the grace of the gods too, another isekai show. Yeah, sadly most of the animes nowadays are isekai genre. And we've got a kid and he has slimes and those slimes have various effects, like there's a black slime, white slime, green slime, 
who likes to sing Shrek songs. Hey now, you an old star. The main character basically becomes a merchant and he has adventures in this world. I think it's better than the previous show I talked about because here there are no edgy elements because our main character is a child basically, even if his mind is like of an old person. So yeah, I recommend watching it, but don't expect any massive action from it. It's a peaceful show. The ice guy and his cool female colleague. Yeah, now this is a romance show and actually a good one. I enjoy the main characters very much. Even the secondary characters are cool. I would have loved this show if it had any resolution. You want the relationship to work out. And of course it's like, eh, nope. Maybe in the second season or sixth season or motherfucking 69th season, because why not? So I hope this will get another season because the characters are very interesting and pure, but I don't know if this is going to be continued. I wish it was. Tototsu ni Egypt Shin. This is a second season of a show about Egyptian gods for children. And from what I've heard, nobody watches this shit and nobody likes it, but I do. I like this more than the previous five shows combined. This is an interesting thing, because this is just for children, so of course there is no edgy elements, no shitty fucking harems, so I am already happy. And the characters here are very wholesome, very likable. My favorite character is the god of farming or some shit, and that Egyptian god who likes to be in the water all the time. The good guy, not the bad guy. I truly wish this is going to get a third season because this is so fun to watch too. Also, who's that god that looks like a white ghost and he can destroy planets? Is this a joke? Is this actually an Egyptian mythology? I recommend this show to you if you like cute things and ancient Egypt. I like both of those things. So it's obvious that it's great to me. Ningen Fushin is another fantasy drama stuff. For some reason they've added comedy here. I don't know why, cause this shit ain't funny. It's about a group of misfits who form a party because all of their previous parties were basically filled with scam fake people. They would always get betrayed, stabbed in the back. And now basically they've made a new party where no one trusts each other but is accountable for everything. So it's an interesting take on this hero formula. There are some serious subject matters presented here and I hope this one is going to be continued. Cause this is not another generic boring fantasy shit. Highly recommended. Benria Saito-san is another isekai show where a dude who's a handyman is transported to a special world with magic and swords and monsters and his party is hilarious there's a fairy who is cursed and needs a lot of money we've got an old dude who's a wizard and he has dementia he just doesn't remember anything he's so fucking great i love that character and we have our sword master the girl who's like an adopted child of that wizard and of course she's in love with our main character Handyman. And Handyman is just Handyman. This show is hilarious, I like the atmosphere. Some of the comedy here reminds me of Gintama, but there are also serious subject matters presented here. Like that storyline with the dogs or wolves. It was truly heartbreaking, so I recommend this show a lot. It was truly a treat to watch it. Isekai Oji-san is another banger because of its very silly premise. It's about a dude whose uncle was in a coma, but actually he was in another world. And he's basically this big hero, but he's very socially awkward. He's apparently ugly, so everyone thinks he's an orc and they want to kill him. And of course there are lots of female characters who fall in love with the uncle. And he's completely oblivious to that fact and it's supposed to be funny. Sometimes it is. The special powers he had in another world are with him in our world as well. And basically his nephew and his female friend can see what uncle can do with those magical powers. 
They mostly watch his previous adventures on a mind screen. It's something similar to that Harry Potter stuff Dumbledore had. Anyways, this is a cool show. It could get another season. I would watch it. I sympathize with that character, because I'm ugly as fuck as well. Next show, it's Blue Luck. It's about a new way of creating a Japanese football team. Basically, they want to create a full team of strikers, so those egoistical fucks. I truly enjoyed this show because of the characters, their motivations, the high action, the music. Everything is on point here, and I hope that we're going to get another season. Oh yeah, another great English title. The reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. Go watch it now! Another isekai show. This one is interesting because the main character is like a good person, but he doesn't give a fuck if he kills bad people. To put it shortly, the main character is the Demon King and he is betrayed by his friends, so as he dies he reincarnates himself in another world to live a more peaceful life and to not repeat the mistakes of his past. He of course befriends some of the characters and he will try to save them. It's a fine show, I enjoyed the main character and how brutal some of his methods are when it comes to disposing of his enemies. And I enjoy the art. If this one is going to get a second season, I hope they are not going to add more romantic elements, cause that would fucking suck. Chilling in my 30s after getting fired from the Demon King's army. <laughs> Can you even read that with a straight face? Cause I couldn't. This show is actually great, it's one of my favorites here. Sure, I didn't enjoy the edgy elements, but everything else was perfect. The fact that the show has an actual ending is also a big plus. The story is simple, our main character is fired from the Demon King's army and he just wants to live a peaceful life in some small village. Of course that won't happen, but he's good at resolving conflicts, so that's that. That's the whole story basically. It's actually interesting. And I recommend it. The Way of the House Husband got another batch of episodes and I couldn't be more happier. This is one of my favorite shows because the characters and the stories are just so silly. My favorite episode of this season is where the mafia guys keep falling over because of the snow and the house husband goes to them and he shows them those spiky shoes or that episode where he joins the ranks of the best housewives. I recommend this show to anyone. It's a silly comedy and it just works. I don't know anyone who dislikes it. Kyokosuri 2 or Inspector 2. I feel like this season was way better than the previous one, especially the arc about a dude who was saved from freezing to death because of that ice woman or the arc about that dude who killed his wife. I truly feel like this anime is getting better and better. I cannot wait for the third season. I hope that they can tap it. This show is basically about a woman who's like a goddess to all of the ayakashis, ghosts and shit. And her boyfriend who's like a mutant or some shit. He's half human, half whatever the fuck he is. And I just love this show. I highly recommend watching it. Otonai no Tenshi Sama is another romance anime and I truly enjoy this one. I love the love development between the characters and how likable they are. The secondary characters are fine. I feel like those two are the best ones, the main ones. The story of this show is pretty basic. Our main character lends his umbrella to a beautiful girl who turns out to be his classmate and also she lives next door and they develop feelings for each other. That's all, if you like wholesome stories this one is for you. Of course they tackle upon some serious issues but not so much, it's mostly a chill out anime. My only complaint is the ending, it could have been better but besides that it's fun. Tomo-chan is a girl is also a romantic anime but it's kinda the opposite of the previous one cause here the ending is great, but some of the episodes in the middle are like, mm, yeah, okay. 
This is basically about childhood friends who love each other, but they don't want to say it or see it. The main and secondary characters here have time to shine. They were written well. I have nothing against this show. I wish it was longer. Kyuketsuki Sugushinu, The Vampire Dies in No Time Second Season. Now this is my favorite show, but it's a sequel, so we don't count it. This is some funny shit. The comedy here reminds me of Gintama, and Gintama is my favorite anime of all time. So it's obvious that I'm going to love it. Just look at this. Look at this picture. John! John! John is the armadillo. <laughs> That's my favorite character. But actually, this is one of those shows where every character is great. No matter if they are good or bad, they are written very well. This stuff is hilarious. What they do doesn't matter because they always resolve their issues and they just carry on with their lives. I love this show a lot. If you like funny stuff, then it's a must watch. Yeah, look at this. Are you not interested yet? Is this not enough for you? What about this one? She looks like my ex-girlfriend. Next picture. <laughs> okay, time to go. And the final anime, Tondemo Skill de Isekai Hoyo Meshi. Now this is basically my favorite anime of the season, if we don't count the vampire one. Cause it's brand new. I hope we are going to get more seasons of this one. It's a show about a dude who dies and gets transported into another world as part of the legendary heroes, but his stats are nothing special and the only skill he has is that he can get stuff from another world. So of course they laugh from him and discard him and he tries to have a peaceful life and cook meals for himself, but of course there's a legendary monster Fenrir and he wants to eat food, so he cooks for that monster and he also gets a slime and he cooks for that slime as well and they have adventures, that's all. I recommend this show if you like to chill out. That's everything I've got prepared for you today, hope you've enjoyed the video, I will see you next season, I hope we are going to get some great animes. This season had so many great shows. It also had some awful ones. The worst one is about a guy who died and became a dog for his classmate. Like anyone who enjoyed that, please remove yourself from planes of existence. I don't want to live on the same planet as you. I might be forgetting some other cringy shows, but I do remember Morbius. Morbius is better than any anime I talked about today. Go watch Morbius instead. Let Morbius be in cinemas once again. I'm sure the fans will go see it. <laughs> That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram page. I will see you in my other videos. Bye.